The Bell XV-3, also known as the Bell 200, is an American tilt-rotor aircraft developed by Bell Helicopter for a joint research program between the United States Air Force and Army to explore convertiplane technologies. The XV-3 featured an engine mounted in the fuselage with drive shafts transferring power to two bladed rotor assemblies on the wingtips, which could tilt 90 degrees from vertical to horizontal. This design allowed the XV-3 to take off and land like a helicopter, but fly at faster airspeeds similar to a conventional fixed-wing aircraft. In 1951, the Army and Air Force announced the convertible aircraft program and released a request for proposals to solicit designs from the aircraft industry. In October 1953, Bell Helicopter was awarded a development contract to produce two aircraft for testing purposes. The original military designation was XH-33, later changed to XV-3 in the convertiplane series and finally to XV-3A in 1962 when the V prefix was changed to mean VTOL. The first XV-3, serial number 54147, flew on 11th of August 1955 with Bell Chief Test Pilot Floyd Carlson. The aircraft experienced a hard landing due to rotor instability on the 18th of August 1955. After modifications, flight testing resumed, but the same rotor instability occurred again, leading to a crash on the 25th of October 1956. The test pilot, Dick Stansbury, was seriously injured, and the aircraft was damaged beyond repair. The XVT-3 was powered by a single Pratt & Whitney R985 radial engine with 500 horsepower, 367.5 kilowatts. The aircraft featured two bladed rotors that could tilt from vertical to horizontal positions. The wing had a span of 9.46 meters and the rotors had a diameter of 7.32 meters. The XV-3 could achieve a maximum speed of 132 miles per hour and a maximum altitude of 3,660 meters. The XV-3's design was innovative for its time, featuring tilt-rotor technology that allowed it to transition between helicopter and airplane modes. The rotor assemblies were designed to tilt 90 degrees, enabling vertical takeoff and landing capabilities while also allowing for faster horizontal flight. The aircraft's design included a fuselage-mounted engine with drive shafts transferring power to the wingtip rotors. Despite initial setbacks, the XV-3 successfully demonstrated the tilt-rotor concept, accomplishing 110 transitions from helicopter to airplane mode between December 1958 and July 1962. The program ended when the remaining aircraft was severely damaged in a wind tunnel accident on 20th of May 1966. The data and experience from the XV-3 program were key elements used to successfully develop the Bell X-15, which later paved the way for the V-22 Osprey. The sole remaining XV-3 prototype, serial number 54 to 148, survived to the 21st century and was restored by Bell Helicopter. It was then transferred to the National Museum of the United States Air Force in Dayton, Ohio, where it is currently on display. The XV-3's pioneering role in tilt-rotor technology has left a lasting impact on the development of modern aircraft, particularly the V-22 Osprey. In conclusion, the Bell XV-3 was a groundbreaking aircraft that played a crucial role in the development of tilt-rotor technology. Its innovative design and successful demonstrations paved the way for future advancements in aviation.